170 hectares of land need to be turned into an efficient center, and this white spot in the city will have to be turned into an economically efficient space. This project is to be uh, unique and at the same time be recognizable as part of Moscow. Here we need to also take into consideration the architectural legacy and the new requirements and how it has to be part of the city fabric at the same time showing a unique planning approach. And as we worked on that, we paid special attention to logistical connection. We also wanted to be attractive for people who live and work in that territory. What have we created today? Why do we have it as part of our documents? We have 35% of uh, green areas there with 30% average for Moscow. Okay, in terms of green areas per person, usually it's 16 meters per person. In that case, it's 34 meters, 11 kilometers of uh, bike lines. And uh, we have also some streets and roads. They are all green. They look like boulevards with the uh, widths of uh, from 35 to 50 meters. Most importantly, in accordance with the preliminary program that might change due to the length of the program, we have come up with a very flexible city planning system which allows us to specify different parameters and include them. The theme of our briefing, uh, polycentricity, uh, new trends uh, and new projects. Good afternoon, uh, dear friends. Uh, uh, let me start uh, before I start answering your questions. Uh, I'll tell you about the work of our administration aimed at uh, the creation uh, of a polycentric uh, city. Uh, since 2011, uh, when uh, uh, Sergei Sabanin became the mayor, considering uh, the development trends and problems uh, like congestion uh, and uh, other obvious problems uh, with uh, uh, a lot of commuters uh, uh, traveling uh, to the center and back, uh, everyday problems uh, with uh, gems in uh, subway and uh, under development of uh, former industrial uh, territories uh, and uh, which are related to poor development of public spaces in those depressed areas and uh, underfunding uh, well uh, uh, they were proposed uh, some uh, program uh, documents and systemic uh, operation uh, of uh, 16 uh, programs. Uh, one of these, uh, uh, and you don't see it anywhere else in the Russian Federation, it's called Urban uh, Development Policy, uh, Chief uh, Projects uh, and Priorities uh, were specified in this program. Uh, well, the purpose uh, of this program is a comfortable uh, lifestyle and uh, it uh, established uh, and uh, stated that we have uh, to convert to balanced uh, development of territories uh, and uh, um, transport uh, uh, infrastructure uh, received uh, priorities uh, in terms of funding and others and another very important uh, fact is uh, uh, preservation of uh, historical sites in the center architectural sites uh, despite uh, 
the fact that uh, uh, there's a lot of funding for the development of, of transport infrastructure, but we have not decreased uh, the uh, budget item uh, uh, for uh, cultural uh, development and we also spent a lot of uh, funds uh, for construction of uh, new kindergartens uh, uh, considering the demographic trends. Uh, one of these uh, projects uh, that uh, considerably influences uh, and in our opinion will play a key role is uh, new Moscow, the uh, new territories and uh, uh, Today and yesterday we mark uh, the uh, anniversary of uh, these new territories of Moscow and our task is to create uh, a million of uh, new uh, jobs uh, for 1.5 million uh, and uh, at that point uh, the population uh, uh, of Moscow is uh, 20, about 22 million people. Well, and uh, let me stress that uh, uh, what we have uh, built uh, already is 8 million uh, square meters. It's uh, quite uh, uh, balanced in terms of uh, social and engineering uh, infrastructure, road network, uh, as including uh, uh, subway lines. And uh, the second uh, part of uh, our work uh, uh, which was uh, accomplished uh, at the start of the program. Uh, uh, well, uh, we had a lot of investment contracts at that uh, moment uh, in operation uh, that uh, during the realization would uh, uh, not uh, improve the situation of Moscow. Therefore, a decision was made to uh, stop these uh, contracts uh, uh, most of them concerned uh, the overload of uh, overabundance of uh, uh, shops and uh, trade centers uh, where we uh, already had uh, uh, a lot of them uh, with uh, a lot of working uh, places there and today on the part of the documents of territorial planning, I can say that uh, the main one is the uh, territorial plan and considering the new strategy and policy of uh, urban development of Moscow in a polycentric way, we have uh, prepared the change and uh, uh, changes in the plan and uh, this will uh, enable to plan uh, the urban development for at least uh, 25 years in all aspects. Uh, the polycentric model uh, uh, is also specified in this uh, uh, plan. Uh, well, understanding that some of the areas are depressed, uh, uh, especially uh, former industrial districts. Uh, the mayor uh, put the task to look anew at this potential because it's uh, huge, almost 18, slightly more than 18,000 hectares, uh, speaking about uh, old borders, uh, and uh, it's practically 17-18% of the whole territory. Uh, it should be said that uh, it goes without saying that not the whole uh, territory uh, was uh, used uh, uh, for other purposes. Uh, some of these facilities were of uh, academic and uh, educational uh, uh, purpose, uh, and uh, some of the facilities uh, are of utilities. Uh, sector. The task was to create and to make innovative those territories uh, with uh, uh, academic and educational institutions so, and uh, to increase the number of jobs uh, in terms of uh, uh, added uh, value and those territories uh, that uh, have already ceased to operate as industrial uh, facilities uh, to convert them to com comfortable uh, and developed uh, recreational uh, sites. And uh, this work is uh, at a very active phase. And generally speaking, uh, uh, 
At a certain time when uh, we had a bidding uh, for new Moscow concepts within the frames of this uh, bidding international urban uh, experts uh, were considering uh, uh, Moscow but not a piece of uh, some territory all of them well were uh, of the same opinion that the territory of industrial uh, zones is, uh, presented a huge potential and uh, when we received this confirmation, uh, we thought that uh, this area requires serious attention. And today we are very successful in implementing a number of projects. One of uh, the most known uh, for everyone is uh, the so-called ZIL project, uh, which is being implemented. And uh, the first facility is uh, ice hockey stadium uh, is already finished and uh, it hosted uh, ice hockey championship uh, now we are preparing some uh, landlords uh, for development and uh, for recreation and uh, for residential construction and director uh, general uh, of uh, residential construction uh, uh, said uh, today that it's going to be a self-sufficient uh, district uh, with a uh, uh, very uh, nicely developed uh, embankment uh, with a uh, branch of the Hermitage Cultural and Educational Centers uh, uh, for 6,000 uh, people uh, with the school and uh, uh, kindergartens uh, in one place. Uh, it's all very uh, convenient in terms of uh, continuous uh, educational uh, process. The next uh, project of uh, polycentric city is uh, giving up the uh, model of uh, mono town uh, mono town not in terms of production but in terms of mono uh, location uh, moscow uh, ring railroad uh, uh, it should be said that uh, it's uh, one of uh, very few uh, uh, practices in the world. It's an example of uh, a very uh, correct uh, application of uh, uh, industrial and transport legacy. And uh, this uh, railroad crosses uh, uh, most of uh, industrial zones of Moscow. And uh, the new time dictates a new rules and we have new priorities and uh, uh, there is a, a period of rebirth of Moscow uh, uh, rail uh, ring road and uh, those uh, tracks uh, are uh, crossing uh, with uh, radial lines uh, at nine points uh, and in 11 points with these subway lines and uh, we're gonna uh, have uh, the total length is uh, 64 kilometers of this uh, ring road uh, will have 31 interchange hubs uh, and uh, and uh, for you to understand in terms of polycentricity people uh, uh, will become uh, more mobile of course it's uh, uh, not impossible to do everything uh, uh, in uh, such a big me megapolis uh, to to live uh, in a place where you work and uh, rest, uh, but uh, uh, this uh, uh, ring road will help uh, to be more mobile uh, using public transport, not uh, private transport. Mos the Moscow River is another element uh, of uh, this uh, polycentric plan uh, that will help create new points of attraction or concentration of human capital and resources in uh, different uh, parts of the city. And uh, I'm not going to expand on it uh, because uh, each of you imagines uh, um, you, can, uh, you can tell me some key uh, points and key uh, uh, sites uh, that are almost uh, uh, finished and are obvious. Let's start from the Goki Park, uh, which uh, is totally different now. It's a leisure, recreation uh, and sports uh, center now. Mm, it's uh, already uh, an accomplished project. Uh, the Luzhniki Sport Complex uh, 
uh, in a matter of a few months' uh, time, uh, is going to become uh, a cluster for sports activities uh, of a global level. Then uh, Tushina uh, area, where uh, we already have uh, the uh, open stadium Spartak uh, for football matches, and uh, this stadium. Uh, 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 for instance, the Nagatinskaya flow land, uh, flood land, uh, which uh, uh, will uh, have a uh, kids amusement park uh, and uh, the infrastructure part is almost ready, uh, the park, and uh, we will add uh, uh, hotels, uh, offices, uh, and then uh, Mnevniki um, floodland uh, uh, will uh, change uh, in five, seven years' time uh, with the appearance of the new parliament uh, center, self-sufficient uh, territory with uh, sports infrastructure, residential uh, estate, uh, and uh, uh, very good uh, uh, transport accessibility. And uh, there are some other projects, uh, some other uh, sites, and Zaredi, of course, I can't but mention it uh, on the Moscow River near the Kremlin, uh, uh, this uh, uh, very famous park in the future. It's a historic uh, decision. I think uh, there are no other uh, analogs uh, of uh, having an opportunity to arrange a big park uh, in the uh, city center instead of uh, uh, in the place of the uh, big hotel, uh, instead of a big uh, multifunctional building. Sergey Ivanovich, thank you very much. We are pressed for time, dear colleagues. Uh, please introduce yourself and uh, ask uh, questions uh, on the theme of this uh, presentation. Well, I guess uh, I have answered all the questions in my presentation. Please turn on the microphone. Olga Sinevich, uh, Sport Complex Portal. Uh, what about the program of uh, uh, pulling down uh, old, uh, obsolete uh, five-storied buildings? Uh, 6 million uh, 300 uh, square meters uh, in 1998, 172, uh, 20, 218 uh, of uh, panel five storied uh, of certain series uh, residential uh, buildings. Uh, and uh, uh, this period was very successful and uh, if starting from 1998 uh, in uh, 2008, in 2010, uh, we had some nuances uh, because of the changes in the land code and the program of demolition of old buildings. Uh, this program uh, had some obstacles and slowed down. And uh, when uh, the new May appeared, uh, well, the program uh, uh, was uh, very successful. And uh, now we pull down uh, almost every day. Well, and. Uh, if you go to the website, uh, uh, it was 109, and now it uh, already has the figure 111. Uh, the, there are no systemic uh, problems. Uh, well, uh, there are some individual problems that uh, have to be uh, uh, solved uh, uh, on online, so to speak, and, uh, well, with the budget, uh, except it uh, some years ago in 2011, well, uh, and uh, we had a crisis. Uh, well, uh, the mayor uh, realized that it was uh, one of the priorities of uh, the citizens, and uh, then uh, this program uh, was uh, very successful in uh, 2017. Uh, um, well, uh, um, this program is to be completed, or maybe uh, somehow this uh, uh, will be left for 2018. Uh, then uh, uh, there are other old uh, five-storied buildings, but they are all for other series, and uh, we are just uh, preparing and assessing the situation and territories uh, in terms of complex uh, renovation. Uh, and uh, when you enter these old uh, residential uh, districts uh, of the Khrushchev uh, area, era, so to say, when uh, 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 
these districts uh, uh, had only five-story buildings uh, uh, a decade or two past, and uh, then uh, you, they also had the nine-story and twelve-story buildings. Uh, uh, of different age and of course uh, not so uh, old and of course uh, you cannot uh, decide at once whether to pull down the whole uh, block of buildings uh, or leave some of them uh, which are to a certain degree not so old and uh, we want together with the federal uh, government and ministry of construction uh, to introduce uh, some changes in the program in two three years time so as to launch this program uh, not to uh, have any uh, serious challenges and uh, to have any obstacles. That's why we want to make some amendments and uh, to introduce corrections. Stroy complex teleportal uh, will. Well, uh, one of the projects is very successful. Uh, uh, have uh, you received uh, any other applications uh, from uh, other uh, districts of Moscow where they also want to add some stories, extra stories to their ha houses? Well, uh, we learned about this uh, project uh, by accident five, six years ago. Well, uh, it was a uh, uh, grassroots uh, initiative. Uh, uh, one of the uh, citizens uh, was uh, with the engineer in background. Uh, and, uh, uh, his family was growing, the children uh, was growing uh, uh, up, and he wanted uh, them to live next, uh, nearby, ne next to the, the apartment, and, uh, but they couldn't find any apartment near. That's why they thought that uh, uh, it's possible to reconstruct uh, uh, the house, uh, they had a meeting of the residents of this uh, uh, residential block and uh, they added a story. But in Moscow it's not very easy to add the stories uh, because there are many things in the way. You have to go a lot of steps and stages well. Uh, uh, otherwise uh, you will uh, uh, fall down. Uh, Mm, and uh, we, uh, they needed support, and uh, when they uh, applied to us, we decided to prepare some stage-by-stage -stage instruction uh, and the thought that uh, this situation is not unique uh, because there are some other houses that, where you can add extra stories and to help uh, families living in these uh, uh, houses. And as we went deeper, we saw that uh, uh, there are at least 400 similar uh, apartment blocks. And uh, then they went to the prefecture and uh, said that uh, uh, you should uh, disseminate this knowledge uh, of our program. But the key thing is the Department of uh, Urban Planning does not interact investors and uh, does not take part in the subsequent renovation and adding extra stories uh, on top. It's all up to the citizens uh, to decide whether to uh, use own funds uh, like uh, uh, credits and uh, lending or they involve somebody else uh, uh, in this process. Uh, the reason uh, they are doing it uh, is uh, we had some negative uh, experience. We stumbled uh, several times uh, when uh, Moscow administration said that we know better than the population uh, what to do. Let us add uh, two extra stories uh, to each five-story apartment blocks. Uh, and uh, uh, how can we know mm -hmm, uh, better than uh, the owners of these apartments in those apartment blocks? Uh, well, and uh, I said to myself, no, we're not going to uh, be involved and to uh, uh, decide. Uh, let the residents decide. Uh, well, now several of these apartment blocks uh, out of these 400, uh, well, uh, are allowed to add uh, extra stories. Well, uh, in some cases, well, there are some uh, limits like uh, some infrastructure, some uh, utilities, networks. Uh, uh, well, four uh, residents of four houses uh, 
uh, have already voted and uh, now they are moving uh, and using their own uh, uh, ideas and efforts and we are ready to assist them. Uh, one more question. We know that Moscow uh, Rhin Railway as any transport system or network or artery that appears at, uh, at some territory, comes to some territory, or in this case uh, uh, is reborn, uh, gives impulse to reorganization uh, if it had anything uh, old. And development, if uh, there was not anything well. For instance, uh, the tube station in Salarieva, you got uh, quite a new attitude uh, from business and investors uh, after that. Uh, uh, those investors uh, owning uh, uh, landlords there, well, as we launched uh, transportation, uh, as we're going to launch uh, Moscow Railroad, uh, uh, Rhin Railroad, well, uh, Mm, crossing the old uh, industrial zones uh, will certainly attract new investors, uh, new funds in this, uh, uh, for these territories. The development of Moscow uh, Rhin Railroads uh, will be facilitated by the creation of this construction of these 31 new interchange hubs. Because uh, in the plans of Moscow administration, these interchange hubs as a technological part where you can uh, uh, come in your private car and uh, leave it at the parking lot and uh, change for a train or a uh, subway train uh, and uh, besides uh, it will have offices and uh, trade uh, shopping centers uh, well it's natural uh, where you have uh, lots of people uh, uh, meeting uh, you will uh, have uh, uh, the most appealing places and uh, and as we, I'm sure, this interest will grow, the realization of the project and the implementation is in a few months' time. I mean, uh, Moscow uh, Rhin Railroad uh, uh, and the investors and designers are working, but not the whole uh, process is visible now, but it's very soon. Uh, uh, some more questions and very soon we are to finish. Uh, Maria Khanovska, Renru. Uh, two questions, if you permit. Uh, the first, uh, what is the uh, ratio of private and uh, budget uh, investment uh, in terms of uh, uh, residential construction uh, in the new Moscow and in the old Moscow? And, uh, uh, the funds are spent for roads, uh, social infrastructure. And the second uh, question is, uh, uh, related to the previous uh, panel well, where it was expressed uh, the wish. Uh, do you have any claims uh, or wishes to uh, investors, whether they uh, pay uh, all taxes on, on time? Uh, do you have any com complaints? First question. It's obvious that uh, it's clear that uh, when you have ambitious tasks to develop uh, your city in different areas, we are talking more about urban planning now and uh, the development of social infrastructure, which also needs uh, uh, certain uh, uh, budgetary allocations. We are aware that uh, it's necessary to do everything possible. Speaking about the ratio of budget, non-budget uh, uh, should uh, be that uh, 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 non-budget uh, is uh, uh, more. Now we have uh, 84 uh, to 16. 16 uh, budget uh, uh, means uh, of uh, real estate uh, construction in meters, but not in uh, the m money terms. 16% uh, of uh, the square meters is at the cost of the budget, and 84 at the cost of uh, non-budgetary means. As for some particular projects, uh, I must say that we 
uh, from the very start started to, to have a very individual approach to development of territories involving the investors' uh, participation, especially when uh, there is a bidding procedure and each project uh, uh, here uh, had a stage of serious preparation uh, and uh, elaboration in terms of the economic constituent. Uh, for instance, the ZEAL project, well, of course, the finance experts, well, uh, had a lot of uh, uh, work. We had a lot, a series of road talks, uh, uh, not us personally, but uh, our partners, well, to understand everything uh, clear, to have a very good picture and knowing that uh, investor, due to economic uh, situation of the market, uh, to uh, undertake the construction of uh, major roads in the territory or construction of all uh, social infrastructures uh, and uh, security facilities like police and uh, fire department. Uh, that's why we uh, considered it uh, as uh, budgetary items and parks. Uh, social infrastructure like kindergartens, uh, squares, cultural uh, institutions uh, 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 was uh, mm -hmm, uh, at the auction uh, to attract uh, private capital. So uh, it, it, it's not just uh, one stream of uh, money, but uh, several different streams. Uh, that's our approach. And the uh, final question from our young colleague, and uh, we continue. Uh, Construction Rule website, well, uh, uh, what is your vision uh, of the future of the people living in those areas? The Moscow of new, I apologize, new, new zones, new uh, points of growth, uh, the territories of former industrial areas, uh, new Moscow as well, uh, who are the citizens, uh, are these people from old uh, Moscow or people from Moscow region? Well, we understand that Moscow is a developing city. Can it be that uh, uh, the people uh, will not move from uh, other, from old uh, districts, but uh, uh, people from uh, outside Moscow uh, will go and uh, uh, have apartments there? Two years ago, we had a forum, and one of the key topics was the topic of uh, human capital uh, and the uh, struggle for this human capital. Well, really, uh, speaking about different uh, areas and aspects at the previous uh, forums, well, like, uh, yes, uh, last year, uh, it was in October 2015, uh, now we have uh, faster growing mega policies, and no matter what we discuss, and the best practices in terms of uh, urban economics and uh, Everything is uh, related to the major fact uh, people, mm, not uh, in terms of, well, we want you to, uh, to live well, but, but people in terms of human capital, they move everything. They uh, move the success and finance and the people uh, move it. And uh, uh, the more comfortable the city is, uh, the more developed the city is. Uh, uh, the more friendly environment you have, uh, mm, then uh, the uh, uh, more uh, the higher level uh, of quality of development we get. Well, some things I know uh, uh, better at this briefing. Uh, something uh, uh, you know better than me. And when we have this uh, Q&A session, uh, when we have some communication, uh, uh, when uh, uh, you look at uh, people, uh, uh, when you look at people uh, well talking and communicating well, uh, the way they dressed well, well, uh, some years ago, we uh, did not uh, stop uh, at the crossing when somebody was uh, uh, when uh, some pedestrians uh, crossed uh, the roads. And now uh, the pedestrians are not afraid uh, when we are doing it. And uh, and uh, when we have two million on the half a million of uh, people uh, from uh, other regions or from other countries, uh, well. 
I don't see anything bad, but uh, the most important is that uh, we have uh, uh, ready buildings uh, in the new territories uh, with uh, provided with uh, complex uh, elements uh, and uh, that make this territory comfortable. And uh, as the people uh, come uh, make a decision to move from uh, Siberia or from some other place, uh, uh, these people come to our city and they bring something new. Uh, which uh, we don't know and uh, don't understand within the uh, scope of our big city. Maybe he will bring some knowledge and culture that uh, our city needs. Uh, dear colleagues, uh, thank you for your time. Uh, Sergei Ivanovich, thank you very much for this briefing. I hope it was uh, an interesting and uh, comfortable briefing.